30, 2011. I guess that, uh, I may not call these Nepenthes updates anymore because now I've got more than one type of carnivorous plant. Maybe I'll just call it carnivorous plant update. Uh, well, those plants that I had uh, acclimating in the tank are now out here. And this is the Venus flytrap. It was all solid green and it's starting to get the pretty pink colors inside the mouth. And this is the little G52. It's doing pretty well. Some of the, uh, like this one, it is dying out. It caught a, an ant. But it's got a new baby coming in here and a new baby there. So it's got new growth. It's still a young plant. And this is the uh, Ferrocinia rubra, this little tiny one. See how small it is. And it's doing pretty well too. I like the shape of, of this one. And this is the first one I ever got. I, I uh, cut some of the old pictures off so I could get new growth and get sunlight in it. And then I got these two new ones off of eBay and I'm really happy with it. This is a uh, Saracenia leucophila titan and it's it's in flower right now and it's, it's gonna recover because it was in shipment but it's supposed to get really tall that's why it's called a titan and then this big one here is uh, Saracenia rubra uh, golfensis because it comes from around the Gulf of Mexico they are both native here to Florida and I wanted that one because it's supposed to get really tall, too. Um, kind of came with some of the pictures are dying back, but it's okay because it's already got new pictures coming in. And I've seen uh, wasps try to go into them, but they're, they're too small for to be able to eat wasps right now. But hopefully they'll get really big and... I'd like for them to eat the wasp, that would be really cool. And while well, I got plenty of room here for more water type plants, water carn loving carnivorous plants, so maybe I'll get more Saracenias. This is nice right now, it's all clouded and everything. Hey, hush! <laughs> and I have uh, my red Nepenthes bicalcarat, it's got a new picture right there coming in. And a Mariliana again, which, I don't know, I've got it outside now because the pitchers come in and they die before they even form. I, I really wanted to, to pitch her up nicely, so I've got it out here where the humidity is higher. And we've got, just got this other Mariliana in the other day, and it actually has, I had some of the pitchers I had to cut because they were dead. But it's got a pitcher coming in right there, and a pitcher coming in right there. So hopefully, hopefully I'll finally get a Marillion enough pitcher that it'll get big. Would be nice. Okay, let's look at the stuff inside. And before we go inside, one of my uh, Ventrata, Nepenthes Ventratas, got it out here because it's getting a little bit of sunlight even through the clouds, and this rainwater's Really, really good for them. All right, on the patio now. You notice that there's less stuff than there was last time. That's because they gave some away to my friends. Um, my friend Earth Mother got a ventrata that I uh, divided up, and she got my orange by Calcarata. Uh, don't worry, I've got another orange by Calcarata coming in the mail, hopefully soon. But uh, we've got red elbow marginata here, and um, the rubra form as well. They're doing pretty good. It's got new pitchers coming in. And this is a uh, Nepenthes neogonensis. It's got a new pitcher coming in. And a tiny pitcher. It, it doesn't really look like anything yet. This is my other Ventrata division. It's, it's not doing anything really. It's got some pictures coming in, but nothing exciting. Another Neo Winensis. And the Lowe's, my first Lowe's plant. That's not good lighting. It's better light. Okay, let's see it. That's better, I think. Lots of pictures. 
doing really well. Oh, but here's a question for those of you that are more experienced. What's with the droopy lids? How come the lids aren't open and tall like they are on my Ventrados outside? That one's kind of open, but it could be better. That one's doing pretty good, but still, it should be, that one got burned. It should be better than that. They shouldn't be closed on themselves. But other than that, I think this thing's been growing so fast, it was so tiny when I got it. Highland Plants, Dubia, hasn't done anything. It's got two new pictures, but it doesn't look like it's grown at all. But then they say Highlands are really slow. Uh, Cibrianensis, it's got pictures coming in, but really hasn't changed much either. Uh, Ventrata, I mean not Ventrata, Ventr Ventricosa. Uh, Ephipiata. Ephipiata, there we go. I always forget whether the, the F part comes first or second. And a low EI, which is actually doing very well. It's got a little red picture right there. It's got a picture coming in there. And it's got a picture coming in right there. But the tissue culture has not done well. And I think I've I've lost more than half of my my jars, which really sucks. But I guess this is first time beginner mistakes. I don't know, but I I know Nepenthes I know Nepenthes are a difficult species to work with. So we're gonna try again. I got a new pressure cooker because the one I had before wasn't working right and so I got a, a bigger one that I can tell is much better get what you pay for I got a cheap one and it didn't work it was dangerous and scary and lastly my uh, Northiana and frog tank is doing very very well actually there's the frog she she recently ate a bunch of crickets this Northiana, when I had the, the heat lamp on it, uh, there was a heat lamp up here and it, the growth tip got burned. Luckily I noticed in time and I was able to save it and it's already got a new growth coming in. And this Northiana, which is my first one, I'll have to film these sometime outside of the tank because they're doing so well. You know, bad with the screen, it's hard to see, but it's got four pictures and two coming in and it's just doing great. Let's turn on the uh, the mist a little bit, give them a little humidity for a few minutes. And I'm hoping to get still another Northiana because I would love for them to have a pair. If I can get a male and a female, then I can breed them and then you know what's in store after that. That would be cool. So that's it for the uh, Nepenthes and carnivorous plant update for now. See ya.